Ahoy. Ooh, uh, 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 uh. Ahoy there, YouTube! I'm back again today for another Kickstarter critique where I take a look at a different tabletop game every weekday at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time and give you my honest thoughts on how that Kickstarter project is being ran. Once again, this is not a review of the game, but a review of the Kickstarter project itself. So if you like that sort of weird thing, please be sure to click on that subscribe button down below as I'm trying to reach 9,000 subscribers, celebrate my nine-year anniversary of making YouTube content. Also, please consider supporting the Patreon down below as I'm currently a stay-at-home dad and every dollar really does count. But right now, I had two different people request that I check out Deliverance, the game of spiritual warfare. Now, whenever someone requests something, I'm always a bit skeptical because the last few times they've done it, it's been flaming dumpster fire somewhere. I'm hoping this is not the case because currently it is the sixth most popular tabletop game on all of Kickstarter. Uh, and one thing I do want to point out, I don't normally do this, but I thought it felt a little bit shady. I want you to notice something right here, which is currently ranked as the 10,505th game game despite the fact if you actually go into the ratings here there's like a whole boatload of people who came in here and rated it a 10 uh and that's the only game they've ranked so really big ups to board game geek despite the fact this is ranking 9.2 because everybody's saying hey it's amazing it's 10 out of 10 including another reviewer which come on man like really is it that amazing like 10 out of 10 10 out of 10 i've given 10 out of 10 to like three games um uh, but anywho I just wanted to mention that, because that, that, that immediately just kind of rubbed me wrong about this project, and, you know, hey, it's something you might want to know. But anywho, a game of angels, demons, and the saints caught between dot, 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 and they're going for, oh, minis, fun in eight minutes. Once again, no one cares. No one cares. I, 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 did, a, I did a mouse, a mouse with an LCD screen built into it yesterday, and they had a $700 goal, and they were bragging about funding in, like, two seconds, and it's like, no one cares. It's been ruined. Just put the price down here. That'd be much better. Put the, the, the player count. Put the, the age, the time length, anything like that. I do like the fact they're showing me where they ship, though. Good and evil clash in this epic tactical adventure about angels, demons, and blah, 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 blah. It's already raised $149,000. Now, the other thing I do want to mention about this style game, and I mentioned this actually earlier this week with a big epic war game, is, from what I can understand, this is a very heavily religious-themed game, which means it's going to have a very specific niche audience, in addition to, like, the regular board game audience, and that niche audience are just more inclined to like this game. Imagine if all of you played it's Scrabble and Uno, and then someone busts out this, and you're like, wow, this is actually good. It doesn't suck compared to everything else. It just blows your mind. So I'm not saying the 10 out of 10s are necessarily misleading, but, eh, you know, you know I'm getting there. Uh, <laughs> but as always, when I click on this video, I'm thinking three things. Do I want it? Can you do it? How much is it? You need to convince the Kickstarter backer of that. Let's go right now. What? Maybe it's just my speakers. The I didn't hear what they just said. No, no clue. Oh, there's Jesus. What did he do? Go, Jesus! Wow, I like this art. The Lord rebuke thee. Deliverance is a cooperative tactical adventure for one to four players. You control elite angelic warriors and are charged by God to deliver the saints and send the demonic hordes plaguing them to the abyss. Unleash the full might of your blade and God-given powers to slay your foes in tactical combat. The demons are controlled by the game and will work together to defeat you through their own custom menu of actions. Ooh. I do like, I gotta say, I like what they're showing me here. Giving me like that, uh, what is it, uh, Flashpoint Fire Rescue E vibe. I'm seeing some nice components here. I'm seeing this is clean, this is clear. I see this and I say, oh, I know what to do if I roll this. I know what to do if I roll that for all the different things. There's a card right here. They got talents. This is very well done. This, this impresses me. Loving it. Loving that right there. Beware, you cannot survive by might alone. The evils of the human realm 
path leading into the spiritual realm. You must stand against this darkness by protecting saints and casting down strongholds through prayer. Lest the darkness overtake this town what? and destroy you. <laughs> what? Grow in power. So, we're, we're in a battle against the demon. We're on Team Jesus. and But we have to go into the town every once in a while to say, Hey, you, you stop drinking and showing your ankles over there. We need to make this place holy. Like, this theme is so... It just makes me chuckle. I mean, I'd play it, but it just makes me chuckle. Acquiring heavenly treasures and customize your angel with talents that grant new spirits. Ooh, that's the hot. The intelligent enemy AI, darkness card system, and multiple difficulty levels ensure that each encounter will challenge you. Lure the mighty fallen prince from the shadows. Ooh, ooh go back, go back, go back. I want to see this. Darkness card system and multiple difficulty levels ensure that each encounter will challenge you. Lure the Aaron get miser one action. Oh, okay. So it's it's okay. You just roll the dice to see what they do. Oh, but it's got the different plus twenty four. Oh, so so it's got some symbology there to help me out. I like that. I like that. They have a they got a lot really good. I like. How clean their graphic design is. They're showcasing that really well. And defeat them in combat at all costs. Legions, flee! Or meet your judgment at my blade! <laughs> Whoa! Kill the demon guy! Lead me, O oh Lord, in your righteousness because of my enemies. And look at that. I have a firm grasp of the size of the box right there. Looks like a Ticket to Ride style box right there. Awesome. Showcase that. Okay. Oh, get out of here. I gotta say, overall, I was impressed by that video. The do I want it is a yes. I mean, the theme, I don't really care. I'm not a big fan of religiously themed games, but it doesn't mean I'm gonna dis... I mean, I'm an Omni gamer. I play everything. I play party games. I play adult party games. Whatever. Don't care. Children's games. So I don't care about the theme. Uh, I think the theme is going to turn some people off, though. Like, you know, like, some people will be like, I actively don't want to play that because all that Jesus crap. Uh, and I understand that, but I, I, I look past it for the game. But still, that also means that you're going to have a whole other domino dropping of people who are like, No! Religious oppression! I'm going I'm to buy, I'm a Christian, I don't even like poor games, I'm going to buy this! That type of attitude. You know, and good, good for them. You know, milk that. Milk that all day. I'm here to help you market. All right, first created 132 back in Andrew Lowen. Yeah, he's doing it big. I always say this. Go back a whole bunch of things for a dollar, and all of a sudden you look like a big member of the community. Now, I'm not saying that's what he did. I mean, I just recommend that all the time because it makes you look good. It really does. Andrew Lowen is the CEO of Lowen Games and founder of the CEO of Next Level Web, a digital marketing agency established in 2009 that spends a ton of time marketing awesome board games on Kickstarter and beyond. We have worked with board game brands such as Elder Scrolls, Star Trek, Fallout, Conan, Dune, Star Realms, Ascension, and more. What? And have... Helped creators raise nearly $3 million on Kickstarter through our marketing service. Dang! And that's why that video is so well done. Andrew is based in San Diego, California. He has five loving daughters, one coming son, and the most patient wife of all time, Gaming Vault Kids. So yeah. Okay, cool. Looks good. And they got a collaborator, so we should have some good customer service. I feel comfortable. I'd like to know more about all the... Oh, there. That's what I want to see, too. One to four players, ages 14 plus, one to two hours. You're, you're talking a lot about your pedigree here. Uh, it'd be nice if I could click on something to kind of back that up. <laughs> but but still, it looks good. Do I want it? Yes. Can you do it? Assuming I believe you, which I don't. I don't. I don't feel like I wouldn't. Uh, is a yes. So I'm gonna go with looking good. Two check marks. And how much is it? Hopefully we don't beat around the bush. We just get right to the price. This right here is what I like to call beating around the bush. Look at all this wasted space. Oh look, great artwork. Whatever. Don't care. Put a price there. Bam. Fifty two dollars. How many people are just gonna go immediately from here to there? Spend the fifty dollars there and now. Uh, but we don't. We beat around the bush. We show that this is a nice component shot. I do like this. It's showcasing things. Oh, and I like how you showcased it's a play mat right there. Very cleverly done there. Nice. I can tell. I can tell they have. And here's the other thing. I believe what they're saying because I see a lot of these little fine-tuned details that they are pointing at. And I say, yeah, yeah, that, that backs up that backstory right here. This is a very well-ran Kickstarter right now so far. Since the victory on the cross, you have hunted the fallen past, blah, 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 blah. Why is it don't care? Uh, once again, they're just going over the theme. This would be nice. I'd like this on the main image. There it is! $59! Why are you beating around the bus? That's MSRP! $60 is generally MSRP, so it's a dollar cheaper. That's a great price. Do you do the shipping in here? Oh, I don't... I'll, I'll go over here. I don't like to rush it. 46 cardboard standees. Ooh, they even have pointy ones. Okay, no issues with that. One darkness board, ten map boards... 
Five angels. Are these? Oh, and they are double sided. Excellent. That's what I was going to ask. And you even listed it there. Very well done. And this is this this is the scrolling down shot that I always love to see. Solo mode. One angel versus the darkness. All game content is playable solo. Excellent. Getting right in front of that. This is not just slapped on. This is something we put a good deal of thought into. Great. Even if that's not the truth, it's still. Putting it out there makes it look like the truth. Uh, Angel talents, twelve parades. I'm not saying that. Oh, includes solo mode. Awesome. And so they're they're taking they're taking the time to emphasize everything here. They're like, yes, we are not second guessing the solo mode. I like that. Uh, eight demon minions, thirty two demon talent cards, seven fallen princes, twenty one fallen blah 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 blah. And here's the other thing. Um, this is really nicely done. But if you've started to unlock stretch goals, and if you have stretch goals, you need to start interweaving them into here. And honestly, just putting this so much higher. Like, why can't this be the first thing I see? Like, let's go up top. What if what if this stuff is more important? Assume that I have watched the video. What exactly are you showing me here that's more important? Just get rid of this whole graphic, or just move it down, and bam. Lead off with this. $59. Front and center. Not a bad price. I keep scrolling down. I keep finding components. And I say, okay, I've seen my value here. I feel like at $59, this is reasonable. One campaign book. We're going to get one of these god-awful square rule booklets. I hate these damn things. Why? Why do we have to do that? Just make it just... Yeah. It's a pet peeve. 32 pages. I want to click on this. I want to click on this. Hopefully you have a rule booklet somewhere in here. Campaign book includes quick start guide and tutorial missions. What? Is this like a legacy campaign style game? Awesome. Excellent. Uh, 25 plastic stands. This is great. So the $59 value, I don't have any issue with it. So, oh, but here's the deluxe box. Well, all right. So we're looking for a $30 difference. You show me a picture. Once again, this looks like the exact same picture as above, except minus the playmat. Did you take away the playmat? Where's the playmat? Uh, okay, the playmat is gone now. Is the playmat actually gone? No. You would take away a playmat. Am I crazy? There was a playmat in the top one, right? I could have swore I saw a playmat. No, this is a board. Oh, the playmat is not actually a part. You just showed the playmat up here. That's an add-on. Naughty! Naughty, naughty, naughty! That's very misleading right there. This is the first thing I see. This is what I think I'm going to get. No, in fact, you're not getting the playmat. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Mm, shady business there. Might not be on purpose, but still some shady business there. What's in the box? $89. Okay, so we're still not even getting the playmat at the $89 version of it. Delivered its deluxe edition plus comes with everything in the game plus the following additional game content. Standees plus minis for Unlocked Angels. So, not standees. We all get standees. It's the minis, right? <laughs> Isn't that what it is? Are we not getting standees in the regular? Yeah, we get standees. So you're not adding standees. You're just adding minis. Including standees plus minis for all... Oh. Oh, so you get the standees and the minis for the expansion. Okay, whatever. Uh, Michael the Architect, I'd like this zoomed in, because these do look very impressive at first glance. Uh, but, once again, I'd like to zoom in. But that kind of goes back to what you told me right here, which this was so well done. This right here was so well done. I see this and I say, okay, I'm not really concerned that much about them making minis now. And, and all, they, all they did was write two paragraphs there. That's all you have to do. Little things like that, they go a long way. Uh, and these are things that are unlocked. Oh, so now we are doing the strategy that I mentioned earlier, where you to where you add the things that are unlocked, or are you just unlocking minis? Is that it? Once again, I'd like if you showed me the, how this got unlocked. Was this a social stretch goal? Was this a certain amount of money? But you're showing me a lot. Like, this is awesome. This is great. Uh, and that's upcoming. So these are just in the deluxe version of the game. So if I get the $59 version of the game. So is this going to be those ones where no one wants to get the $59? I think some people still, because you still get these characters with the $59 version, right? Let me double check that. Let me double check that. No, you don't? Ooh, ooh, that's gross. That's so gross. Ah, so you don't get any of this. So no one's going to take this pledge level, pretty much. This is going to be the bottom of the pit. This is going to be the people that just want to support the project, but they don't actually want the board game. They're like, I don't need all the extra crap. I'm not going to play this game. Okay, so... Oh, yeah, yeah. I don't like that. I do not like that. I immediately am not going to go with a two on this one. I just can't. Can't go with a two. Oh, but then we're getting to... So, wait, wait, wait. So, this is extra. Wait, is this plastic insert? This plastic insert? Oh. Oh, so you're just unlocking stuff for the nice version of the game. Hmm. Is this a bigger box? It looks bigger. Angel... Is this... This looks like a bigger box. Is it a bigger box? I don't know. What's in the box? Oh, and... Oh, there's another one. Oh, is this where we get the, the mythical playmat... That you kind of made look like was in the, the base pledge right at the beginning. Okay, cool. Good talk. See you out there. 
Uh, Metal Initiative coin. Large, beautiful, angelic seal scarred by blah, blah, blah. It's a first player token. Metal Courage token. So okay, we get coins like the coins. Large neoprene mat. So the big difference from 89 to 140 to $60? Sixty damn dollars! Get the yeah. The Kickstarter is basically saying get the deluxe plus expensive or wait for retail. Yeah, there's no point. Like they're not doing anything special for the retail version. Um, so there's there's a sixty dollar difference, and that sixty dollar difference is a coin, which has no gameplay aspects to it. Some coins, which I can't zoom in on them, but they look generic. <laughs> Like, what are these? They look super generic. So either zoom in on those. Uh, oh, those are metal... I don't know. They're, they're coins. They're coins. So you're paying $60. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. What? Oh, well, God. What did, we get, what did we get into here? Okay. Okay. <laughs> so we got to work so I cut up for today. $60 to get coins. No, I obviously am not going to give this a two. A two is going for the whale. And I, I like $60 for a playmat, some coins, and an initiative coin. So coins and that. And how many coins do you get? 15. 16 coins. One big one, 15 small ones, and a mat. Oh, but it's huge. And once again, you give me millimeters, you don't give me inches. That's always a misstep because the majority of people who shop on Kickstarter, half of the people who shop on Kickstarter from the United States of America, so dumb it down for us. Let me know the inches because this looks like a big, big play mat. But I don't know for sure because I can't convert. Wow, that's fancy. Look at that. Oh, that's where you're spotlighting the coins. Oh, okay. Uh, honestly, if you could, I would cut that, splice that right into there, because I was underwhelmed, and now I'm like, okay. Still, $60. Dang. That's a big ask for playmats and coins. Alright, Angel Investor. What's what's new? Oh, this is Faded. Plus a set of professionally painted miniatures. Uh, okay. Painted minis. And you're gonna... 600 extra dollars, or whatever. Oh my god. <laughs> Archangel Investor, everything delivers all inch plus a set of professionally painted miniatures and an original delivered sketch art of your choice, signed by something something, and delivered prototype. Nobody, oh god, oh god, oh, god. nobody wants your prototype. No one wants your god awful prototype. I throw out, I have thrown out quite literally hundreds of prototypes. No one wants your prototype. Someone will take this because they want to support the message behind it. Uh, yeah, better be 24 karat gold coin. Damn, Skippy. That's, that's 16 coins and a playmat for 60 bucks. You could just go buy another game. Sure, this is, like, come on. Uh, signed original sketch art. Cool. Signed deliverance prototype. Oh, wow, I feel special when you show me there's, like, 12. <laughs> what? Like, uh, well, I guess you already knew that because it's, like, but it's not even the pro, like, uh, okay continuing forward stretch goals so we've hit stretch goals it's funded yippee uh so we're doing every twenty-two thousand, and then six thousand. oh i'm going to guess that they were super excited about the initial thing and then they were like oh wow they didn't have time to update it so that's why you see such a big thing and then we get to sixty-seven thousand, seventeen thousand, three-piece plastic insert deluxe only deluxe only deluxe only is oh Four prayer cards to all versions. Ooh, you know what? You should take the extra time to actually make it sound like you care about the $59 version of the game and at least add that in there. Like, say, oh, we unlocked this for you. Yippee skippy. No one wants your prototype. You're in for a surprise. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Well, here's the thing. I don't believe that those, those are people that really want the prototype. Those are people who really want to see this project succeed. And I understand that. I completely understand that. They got they got skin in the game. You know, this is a religious themed game. It wears its religion on its chest. And that's fine with me. They're leaning into that. I got no issues with that. I think it's going to turn some people off. But yeah, if you feel strongly about something, go all in on it. And so when you go all in it like that and you say, I'm pounding my chest, this is a religious themed game, you're going to have a certain group of people with a large amount of disposable income who are going to say, you know what? I want to support that big time. I want to see you crush this. And good for them. 16 millimeter dice upgrades, 100,000. Uh, few Flame of the Gods, Deluxe only. Uh, screw you. <laughs> These are just talent cards. You can't, you can't even give me in the base version. All cards, tokens, standees, maps, tiles, everything's linen finished. Oh, that's cool. Uh, so these are great. These are great stretch goals. And they're micro stretch goals. I put these higher. I would really seriously put these higher and just make them look more appealing, I think. Uh, because you put them high and get people excited. 167,000. Have we hit this? I think we've already hit this. 
Where are we? We're at 152. Okay. All right. Back on down. So right now I'm leaning towards a one, but I think it's really going to hinge on the videos. Uh, gameplay video is really the, the big one here. Check back soon. How to play. Dan King. Wait, is this like a straight up how to play, or is this a gameplay? Hmm. This is a preview. You labeling it how to play is deceptive on you. That's just that's just it. Like it's just eh. and, and when I say that, I say that because Dan King does actual how to play videos. Like straight up rules videos. And when I see that, I'm assuming that's wait, this one says gameplay overview. Never mind, never mind, take it back, take it back. <laughs> take backsies. I can't read. So how to play ugh, okay. Download the poo oh, so the PDF rule booklet is here. Good. That's a check mark. That's a check mark. I'll take a little glance at that. Play now on tabletop simulator. Love that. This is all good stuff. This is all good stuff. Choose your angel game setup. What am I looking for? What am I looking for? The do I want it is answered. Yeah, I do. It looks like a fun little cooperative game. Can you do it? Yes, I believe so with the pedigree and what you've shown me, you clearly know what you're doing. How much is it? Price? Price? Uh, well, that's where it, that's where it gets weird. Because to be quite honest with you, I just want the base game. I just want the base game with the stretch goals. I'll give me the extra damn standees. Hell, I don't care if they're made out of the cheapest cardboard. I, I, just give me matchboxes and you write all this stuff on it. I don't care, but I don't want to have to, you forcing me the $89 version. So I guess, I guess I'm giving this a 1. So 410 people there. What do we got here? 384 splunking down the extra to get all the good stuff with the uh, the, the coins. 749. Yep, we want to support this project. And 1499. Seven people. We want to see this project succeed. Okay, so we're looking at how many people have actually bought this game. That that, that is what I'm really interested in here. All right, so we got oh golly, seven, twenty nine, uh, three hundred and seven. Wait, it's So you get about eight hundred people. About 900 people. Okay, it's not bad. It's not bad at all. Uh, Crush Your Foes. Looks good. I'm going to give this a 1. Honestly, I'd go watch a gameplay video of it. Is there just a gameplay video of it? Okay, so that's what it boils down to me. And the shipping. We still don't know the damn shipping. Why do we bury the shipping? Why do we always bury the shipping? Will base game get three random cards for an angel they don't have? Oh, well, I guess that makes sense. If it's for an angel they don't have, that's excusable. I just... It's just... Uh, just slap in the face. Like, dude, why even list the retail version? Just push everybody to the nice one. Uh, game review. Sam Haley. Deliverance is packed with thematic goodness. Each time I played it, I came away feeling like I've been acting the pages of a Frank Peretti novel. It's a great answer to a heretofore ignored genre. Okay. So, first things first. Sam Healy. That's a great get for you. Sam and Tom, they are very religious people. And they're very spectacular people. I, I, Sam Healy is one of my favorite people in all of board games. He was the opportunity that I got to be on the Dice Tower for a short period. When other people at the Dice Tower would not give me that opportunity. But Sam was like, he was the one who did it. So I always will go to bat for Sam Healy. Period. Uh, but this is the quote. Deliverance is packed with thematic goodness. So that tells me it's extra jesus -y. Each time I played it, I came away feeling like I'd been enacting the page of a Frank Peretti novel. So he's not saying that he was having a fun experience unless you know what a Frank Peretti novel is. It's a great answer to a heretofore ignored genre. It's a great answer to a genre that doesn't have games. Christian fantasy dungeon... I don't know. Uh, oh, oh, if you, yeah, if you enjoy painting, I definitely could see the appeal there. That's something I've never thought about. Thank you very much, Sailor. I've never really thought about how extra the minis versions uh are if you enjoy painting because i don't paint I, I don't have my adhd would never allow it so this quote though does scare me from the game a little bit because it's not like he knows like it, and i don't put it on sam because once again sam didn't put his quote here they put his quote here and it just it doesn't tell me anything about the game really except it's a dungeon crawler and then i guess it's really jesus -y themed which I, I guess is good cool i love when you dig into the theme this one i'm going to back Day one, without question. Okay. Cool. That's someone who's played the game. That's a good quote. Doesn't always have to be complex. There we go. This is someone who covers games, saying, I love this game. I'm going to back it. That means a lot to me. I don't... I, I assume they're being truthful. I mean, why would you ever assume they're not being truthful? So, yeah, that's a great quote. Uh, the whole game is balanced on that knife's edge. Both times I've played, we got to the final boss and said, well, might as well pack it in. There's just no way unless dot, dot, dot. That's a great one. I really do like that quote as well. 
uh, because that you love those kind of game experiences, like those games of Pandemic, those games of Flashpoint Fire Rescue that came down to just like, oh, we got no chance, but if just a couple things spin the right way. These are great quotes. I understand why they wanted Sam Haley first, but these quotes, I do believe, are better quotes. Question, do content creators send them a list of quotes they think are good, or do the Kickstarter runners just choose a random one from their videos? It is, there's no one size fit all. Uh, a lot of times, a lot of people say, hey, do you have a quote? And a lot of times, they'll just plop it out of the video. And so it really depends. Uh, meet me at the table. This is an amazing game. I really can't say anything negative off the bat. Wow, these are great quotes. These are great. Deliverance really delivers on its promise of making me feel in command of legendary angels. I love this. Really, that one just leans into the Jesus theme. So the theme comes across. That's good, though. I always like when the theme comes across. So much replayability in this box. That's what I want to see. With so many different angels and demons, it would take me a long time to see it all. Spectacular quote. These are some great quotes. The attention to detail... From the art to the game mechanics show that a faith-based game can stand alongside anything you'd pick up your local... I, I don't know, whatever. Whatever. <laughs> like, why Why do you have to make it about that? I don't care if I'm this far into your Kickstarter campaign. I'm like, hmm, is this too Jesus-y for me? No, I'm like, is the game good? Like, don't... Uh, uh, this is a highly tactical game. Okay. I was really pleased with a few quality mechanics and artwork creating a challenging and fun experience. That that one that one doesn't pass the sniff test for me. This is really well crafted. Lots of so we got tons and tons and tons and tons and tons and tons of quotes. Awesome, good, good deal. Shipping, great. This is what I wanted. This is what everybody needs. Please note, shipping is not included in the pledge price. We've selected blah 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 blah. Shipping will be charged to the pledge manager at the conclusion of the Kickstarter based on the pledge level and region. If you add additional items to the pledge manager, so this is clean, clear. Nine dollars, United States. That's great. That's a great little shipping area. $9 for the Docs games. Screw you, retail version! Screw you! Mm. Jesus does not love the retail version of this game. Uh, Norway, Switzerland, 15, 15, 15, Germany, UK. This is a great shipping section. This is really good. Does it, uh, where's the VAT? Did you mention the VAT? I know you got to mention the VAT. This means that reward bounds to these regions ship from without the respective regions, so backers of these regions will not pay any VAT. A plus shipping section. Banging. You know what? Why do we got to bury it all the way in the bottom? I say, let's start a revolution, baby. L the religious Kickstarters and me, let's start it. How about we start bumping up the shipping right after the pledge levels? The rest of Kickstarter won't do it. All the evil games about demons and devils, they won't do it. But the religious games, you can do it. You can do it. Move the shipping section up to the prices. And everyone will love it. And they'll say, man, those Christian games, they really... They really blaze the path on where to put the shipping section in your Kickstarters. I can dream. I can dream. And I can tell. I can tell we got a lot of people working on this project because they have everything they need up in there. And while I might nitpick some things overall, I thought that it was a really over, overall well-done Kickstarter. I personally think it's a bad look to even have the base game. I would just say, yeah, we're going to put out a base game after everything else. The base game is not going to be the one you're going to want. It's going to be $59. It's not going to have minis. It's not going to have these angels. It's going to be a pile of crap. But if you want it, go hit the pledge manager. We can hit it up to you later. Just something like that. Because, but, but I don't know. Let me know what you think about that in the comments below. Because handling a retail version when you quite obviously want to focus completely on the deluxe version is not always a bad thing. But how do you handle it? What's the best way do you think to handle it? Uh, let's see. Great shipping, but not great prices anywhere outside USA. China or Hong Kong, almost half the price for even the base game. Oh, I didn't think it was that bad. I was looking at Canada and whatnot, and it looked, uh, looked pretty reasonable. Because, I mean, this is a Ticket to Ride style box. This is a big box. $15. Oh, that's not Canada. Where's Canada? $19. Yeah, I don't... See, here's the thing. Uh, uh, uh back when I shipped, and this was way, way back when I shipped, about six years ago, uh, a medium flat rate padded shipping envelope would cost you about $18 to ship to Canada from the United States of America, and, you know, that's that's about big enough to fit Cards Against Humanity, which might not be the right game to really bring up in this scenario, but I assume even people who, you know, are big into religion know that style of game, you know, that, that size game, so I don't think $19 uh, is that unreasonable at all, and then once you started to get to Germany and UK, it was even more than that, so uh, I think they got some dang good shipping areas right there. I disagree, uh, but that's all right. We can all have our own opinions. Will there be demon miniatures? We looked into it, but decided against us for several reasons. <laughs> Finally, the cost said, nah, we're just going to do the Christian stuff. What material and scale are the minis? Uh, yeah, that's the other thing. I didn't really have a good eye for the minis. Once again, you're not giving me inches, so I'm scrolling on. Give me inches. Would additional angels be available as add-ons to the base game? This is a popular question. We're currently working on a solution to it. We'd like to add this for those who want the additional angels, but not the additional components present in the deluxe edition. Upgrade pack. And... 
Yeah, I don't know. It's such an ugly, it's such a weird situation being there. All right, let's check out the updates, see if they're good updates. They are not good updates. Well, this one's not a good update. What was this? Yesterday, this update, I'm going to guess, either asked a question or it's just a whole bunch of people that were so excited to support the cause. Because generally, when you start seeing campaigns that have three, four, five, six updates, that generally means all their updates are pretty bad because they don't end with a question, which you should always, always, always end with a question. Get your audience engaged. Uh, which is why you should totally post something in the comments down below to tickle those YouTube algorithms. As I write this, we've blown past 100k funded and loaded six huge stretch goals. Uh, ooh, going all in depth. So now it's time to gush. It's hard to believe we funded in eight minutes. Blah, 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 blah. We got 500 backers in two hours. More reviews, videos are showing up. Uh, and yeah, this is going to be many blessings. Go God. You can talk about God anytime, brother. Watch the many hours you spent with the meticulous attention to detail from the theology, the fiat. So yeah, this is what I was talking about earlier. These are the people who want to support the cause, which is why I don't think this is a good update because still you didn't ask a question. This is just your initial wave of people who are like, oh my God, God themed stuff. Go. You know, like if I see anything with Andrew Yang or Denver Broncos or the Chicago White Sox, I go, go, go Andrew Yang, Chicago White Sox, Denver Broncos. And these people go, go Jesus and religion. You know, it's just where you put your money. It's capitalism. I have no issues with it at all, but it still doesn't make it a good update. <laughs> but I do see that they are responding to everybody, which is tickling those algorithms, which is good. Now let's go to update number two, which is probably going to be much more like what the other updates are. So they have 40 hearts, which is good, but once again, three, because you're just you're just puking stuff into my mouth here. Uh, think Oh, but you did ask a question. Think we got to unlock it before the day is through? That's That's a real exciting question to answer. Give me that nice closed close ended question yes or no no open ended questions let me rephrase this open ended questions there's a one stop co-op shop gameplay video that even includes a setup they should include that yes that honestly should be video number 1 i know you paid more money for dan king and dan king is like ooh dan king and i get it dan king's a super nice guy uh, I, I I have nothing negative to say about Dan King in any way, shape, or form. Uh, but the gameplay video, like an actual full sit down gameplay video, I think is what most is, is what's going to convince most of the board gamers because you have the religious people who are like, yes, we're in. So you're trying to convince the board gamers that the game's still good. And while I understand you're getting Dan King because he's more well known, I just think a full gameplay video is much more what people want to see. You know, because how many times have we seen a big name attached to a game that was crap? Or a big name that was attached to a game that didn't come out. It happens all the time now, unfortunately. It's happened with me. <laughs> it pisses me off every single time. Uh, but but it, it, it just is what it is. Uh, so glad the dice got upgraded. Good stuff. Very excited for this game. And yeah, so you didn't, you ask a question. It was, an, it was a closed-ended question. You put it in an odd spot. Nobody responded to it. Next time, ask an open-ended question. Say, what kind of, uh, you know, if you could dream up something for this expansion, what, what, for the next stretch goals, what would it be? You know, just anything to get people more engaged with this. Or where do you, who do you plan on playing this with first? Because, oh my gosh, I'm sure everybody here wants to talk about who they're going to play this game with. I guarantee you everybody wants to talk about how, how much time they're going to spend with their family. Uh, so that would be totally what I was going for. Because as always, when you have a very specific niche backing your Kickstarter, you need to stimulate that niche. And right now, you have a very specific niche. Uh, with the religious crowd, and, and they're, I think they would be more than happy to talk. Reading through comments, seems like many ba base pledge level backers are concerned about not getting the unlocked angels. It might be a good many of them. There's only like 58. They, they keep the base game level, making a little extra money, and other backers that do not. Okay. But here's what I see. I see Christy crushing it. Customer service here. Super backers on this. Uh, ooh, what is this? Okay, we got something a little feisty here. Let's check it out. So I am going to award this a 1. Unless this just happens to be a flaming dumpster fire, which it doesn't look to be. I'd recommend going to watch that one-stop co-op shop video, see if it's a game for you. And then slugging down the cash. And if you don't want all the minis and extra stuff, so just wait for the retail version. Probably get it cheaper than $59. Uh, 59 plus the, what, 9. So it'd probably be more cheap to, yeah, to just wait this one out. So, let's see. Is there a way to purchase more than one copy of the game? Thank you. Yes, you can definitely do it. Just increase the pledge by that amount, and we will select your rewards after the campaign ends. The pledge manager, thank you so much for your support. Christy, you know what he's asking. At least I would assume you know what he's asking, which is, is there going to be a shipping discount? Most likely. I would assume that's what he wants to know. Uh, which, once again, should be in the FAQ. Is it? No. Hopefully it's in the shipping section. I just missed it because I wasn't really looking. I've looked at a lot of stuff right now. Uh, some confusion misinformation on campaign page. Under the deluxe components, it states 15 talents per angel are included. It has been all, it has been there since the beginning, and I thought it was already included. Now we are unlocking talents that were bringing the total to 15. Oh, 
Uh, this is something that we would like to do. It seems quite popular, so we are going to figure something out. Huh? Sorry, this was the wrong... The wrong to comment and to... This, sorry, this was the wrong to comment to reply to with that answer. To answer your question about the talents, sorry about the misinformation. That was an oopsie on our part. You are right. The talent quality shown is the total the Angels will get once we smash through the stretch goals. We are closing to unlocking... Okay, so they mishandled something in the front end, and now it looks bad. It happens. They're in front of it. So good. And once again, this is why it's always nice to have numerous collaborators. Because right now it looks like... Christy is pretty freaking stressed out uh, because this is this is getting pretty popular. Uh, they because it's just uh, running one of these sections. I cannot imagine how stressful that would be, especially for a popular Kickstarter. Thanks for both of the early replies. Will additional angel be for the base pledges? Will the insert be large enough to accommodate sleeve cards? There was a previous reply that said yes. Okay, cool. That's an FAQ type of thing. But what I see here is good customer service. So yeah, I'm happy with the one there. I'm going to award Deliverance, the game of spiritual warfare, a one. Uh, it has a lot of very good stuff going on for it. And it looks like a pretty fun game, to be honest with you. But... If it looks like it might be a cup of tea, be sure to check this one out. Tell them Bowers Game Corner sent you. Also, if you enjoy what I'm doing, uh, thank you for stopping by. I, I really do appreciate it, and uh, it's it's how I continue to do more Bowers Game Corner. And so, thank you. You you allow me to do this, and I cannot thank you. Like thank you, thank you, thank you. You rock. As always, thanks for your time, YouTube.